You too, Jeff. Take care. Thank you. So we go from Washington, D.C. to the state of Washington and talk to our good friend, usually with us on Fridays and uh, again going forward in April and beyond. Uh, hopefully, uh, we will be talking to him in the uh, entire half hour, last half hour of the Jeff Santo Show. Time to go to 206 MTC on the airwaves. Uh, Mark Taylor Canfield, Democracy Watch Executive Director. Uh, Mr. MTC, good to see you with the guitar on a Monday, my friend. How are you? Mr. Boss Man, won't you hear us when we call? Mr. Boss Man, won't you hear us when we call? I said, now you ain't so big now. You just talk that song. Oh, yeah. Boss Man, that's MTC, live from the 206. Yes. Hey, Jeff. How you doing? You're fired up, Good man. Happy Monday, you. dude. Good to see you. Uh, hey, I wanted to uh, start off with, um, uh, you know, a number of issues. But, you know, um, the boss man, the Donald Trump thing tomorrow, how many people are really going to be tuned in to see whether or not he gets handcuffed tomorrow or, you know, arrested? Are people in Seattle that you come across in your progressive uh, city that uh, you live and work in, are they concerned? Because, you know, People who watch MSNBC and CNN are, are concerned, but I think the vast majority of Americans are not really that focused. What do you think? Tomorrow will change things? Well, if he, you know, if they actually do something, you know, that moves the the uh, goal of justice forward, I think people will pay attention. But I have to tell you, a lot of people are pretty cynical about, you know, I, I guess it's been kind of the same way since Richard Nixon, right? As people are very cynical about the the ability to hold former presidents. Um, to account, including George W. Bush. How about a war criminal, right? Oh, yeah. So There you go. So, yeah, when Obama came into office and that all got swept under the rug, you know, people just thought, well, I guess a presidential, uh, if you get in the White House, I guess that's like a free ticket out of jail, like a Monopoly game, right? It's like, um, <laughs> so we'll see. Yeah. We'll see. I'm cynical. No, yeah. I'm sure a lot of people will be watching up here because they would love to see the guy get his just desserts. And, you know, maybe something will finally happen. You know, I mean, come on. William Barr should have charged him with obstruction of justice how many years ago? What oh, was yeah. Comey trying to say? Comey was trying to explain that to us, right? I have a little video called Total Lack of Recall where, where uh, <laughs> Ashcroft, is, uh, well, you know, there, his former attorney general is trying, just can't remember anything. I have no idea. I do not recollect that no. conversation. I, I know it's a Sergeant Schultz defense. I know nothing. I see nothing. I hear nothing. Yeah. No obstruction <laughs> of justice here. Or, and Trump, he kept repeating in his press briefing, uh, no obstruction. No, no, no obstruction. No obstruction. No, I'm not a criminal. I am. I am not a crook. Right. You know, I'm not a crook. we've seen that before. I, I just yes, saw all have. the president's uh, did you Same over the thing. weekend? Yeah, it's a Did great you watch film. it over the weekend? I mean, it yeah, it is. Anything. Yeah. Great film for journalists. Yeah. I love films about journalism. I just saw one called uh uh what is it? What is the the secrets law in England? The Official Secrets Act. There's one called Official Secrets that I just saw about a yeah. whistleblower there who actually got her charges dropped because the British government was so afraid that her uh, attorneys were going to bring out documents showing that it was an illegal war when they went into Iraq with the United States. So sometimes check out Citizen King, win. of course, by the way, if you the ultimate, you know, that's, that's the best one, right? Um, you know, I've been, I was watching a little Turner classic movies over the weekend myself, actually. And I uh, uh, got to uh, look into charade, which was a very fascinating movie uh, with uh, Cary Grant, Judy, Judy, Judy. Um, Anyways, um, what's up with Ms. Sawant? How's that labor organization going? Well, Worker Strike Back has been kicked off. She's had uh, launchings all over the country in cities all over the country. I just did a video for the NPR Tiny Desk concert, so look for that on YouTube. And I got a bunch of new music coming out. Sweet. And Pramila Jayapal has been having tons of town halls, so we all love her. She wins with 80% of the vote. They can't ignore it. That's why she is the co-chair of the uh, Progressive Caucus, right? She's not going away forever. Right. She's going to be here for a long time. Yeah. Right on. My We're going to talk to you next, next Thursday, and then we'll be back uh, the week of April 3rd into your regular time slot, my friend. Until then, 
Keep on fighting for us, man. Peacefully. Peace out, Jeff. Love you guys. See you later. Peace, man. Talk to you soon. That's MTC. I've got a whole M thing going here. Meyerson, Mark, Minsky's next. It's a Monday. It's the Jeff Santos Show. Back in a flash. All packages for a living? A 